This is day three, Wednesday, the 13th of June. Uh, we've been working hard on site here. The, the Christopher Columbus is almost half cleaned, I think. And they've been working to flatten some of the areas of distortion and they put some magnets in to flatten those areas further. Yeah, let's see. Good? Hold on, I'm like watching it. Gala has unfortunately this long crack, it's old, um, but it's slowly opening up. It's opening up more than we would like it. And she has, there are small pinhole losses throughout the crack um, that we will go in and, and uh, fill and retouch. They're just small pinholes. On the Ecumenical Council, we've had quite a heroic day. On the edge of the painting, where the painting had been stretched several times, there were a lot of holes. Every time that it's been restretched, it's gotten a new little set of holes all the way around because the original holes weren't um, reused every time. Um, I know that there was a lot of difficulty before stretching this canvas, and the last time it was restretched, it wasn't quite put on square. And our hero of the day was Ivan Salikov, who actually mended the tears. Reattaching all the threads and using the, the welding, it's called uh, thread welding powder. Very meticulous, very slow, very careful, right Ivan? Yes, right. You mend a lot of holes over your career as a conservator, and when you see one, it almost tells you what to do to fix it. You can see, oh, this is going to go there, and this one meets this, and so it's really, um, it's a lot of experience that, that makes it go quickly, and not, not always easily, but <laughs> you would not want to try this at all. <laughs> Off and work down. We're going to put the painting on a new stretcher, and when we do, we're going to pull on the edges. And there were so many holes and so much fraying that we were afraid we would pull it apart. So this really stabilizes the perimeter, and tomorrow you're going to see more stabilization from the other side.